Hi, my name is Alexander Robinson here at Extreme Action Park, and today we're with Murph from Impractical Jokers, and he's my best friend. So recently you walked a tightrope. I did. 9.7 feet. 9.7 feet. My cord got stuck and yanked me back off the off the, the tightrope. I would have done it all the way. I saw that uh, when you fell, you started. Going. Monkey bar. Why? You got a monkey bar. What was uh, your thought process? I was I was getting to the end no matter what. Plus, I'm the only one out of the four of us could, that could possibly hold his own body weight to do that. <laughs> what was going through your mind before that? Because you looked like pretty upset and nervous, like almost like you were about to cry. My eyes swelled with water, and I was I was scared. I'm terrified of heights. I mean, you saw the skydiving episode where yeah. I full on cried. Speaking like of idiot. that, do you really have that tattoo? There is the ferret tattoo. Right there on my thigh. All it's real. All of our tattoos are unfortunately very real. Have you seen your facial expression the moments before you were about to walk off? No, I haven't seen the episode yet. Well, luckily for you, I have a photo right there. <laughs> what a great shot. Nervous. Oh, I look, I look terrified. <laughs> I don't want to sign this. Can I sign that? Yeah, sure. Right. Terrified. T E T E R R I F. I I were you confident like during the practices that you would be able to do it or when you got up there were you just like nope I'm gonna die. We had our own at home kits they sent us, right? Bella the Clown sent Bella Knock sent us. I was very confident on the two foot. The, the, you know, it's maybe 20 feet long and it's uh, on the two foot off the ground one, I was very confident. And then we tried last week 13 feet high and I did it uh, a few times successfully, but I was really nervous. You know, I was really scared. The first time I got up on the pedestal was the first time I did that one. The night before I practiced for three hours at home and I nailed it 100% of the time. And I was scared, but the second I got up there and I stood on the pedestal, I looked around and there was 4,000 people there. <laughs> yeah. Like I, 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 and I hadn't seen the crowd from that vantage point before and when I saw so many people like yelling and screaming in support that calmed me down a little bit and I, I was I was okay then. I saw your outfit when you were getting up there. You had your nice yes. suit and your wooden bow tie. My bow tie. I like that yeah. bow tie. It's like maybe it was like wings. Yes. Wings on a plane. I noticed that you had very nice dress shoes on. I had my new nice sneakers. Yes. What was the why did you do that? I'm in a blazer and a bow tie. I'm not gonna wear sneakers with a blazer and bow tie. I mean, let's, let's, let's be serious. I want to look like a jet. Here's my thought. If I was gonna die, I wanted to look good. Mur's doing it, yeah. but he's doing it yeah. with class. Mur died, but at least he did it with class. I don't, I don't want to die looking like you. What was your least favorite punishment on yourself throughout the whole entire show? The the Winnie, the Danica McKellar one, the I Winnie like Cooper one. one. I was I went through two emotions when I walked in the room and I was just glistening and naked, and uh, and my childhood crush was there in the room. But first of all, I was blown away that. I didn't even know the guys knew her or, could, or that she was a fan of the show. Second, I was mortified that I looked the way I did. I was naked, I was glistening, I really looked crazy. Third, I was just was in complete shock. The room that I was in, there were bodybuilders. They had uh, tables set up with people selling like bodybuilding stuff and you know, and, and supplies. And there were speakers in the room and they had the sounds of a competition on. So I, there's no reason from the other room. I completely thought it was real. I was just blown away. I, I was so shocked and that would, I got, what the hell was that? That was his phone. <laughs> Did a duck just get into the room? Can you tell the fans something they don't know about you? Uh, ambidextrous. I write with both hands. I can do most things with both hands. Uh, so I play baseball righty, but I write lefty and all of this. I'm balding. Well, that's, I don't know if you noticed. You may not have known that about I me, but I'm know. losing my hand. I own a Terminator 2 video arcade game. Uh, I've never owned a car in my life. How do you know how to drive? Is that why you gained I, the performance you did? Yeah. <laughs> I haven't found love yet. That's a sad one. My mother makes the best pizza on the planet. Short little Italian woman. Adorable. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm very good raising plants. I grow a hell of a plant. I have a green thumb. <laughs> Do fans ever ask you to sign them in like weird places like in all Yes, or, like, all the time. When you prank somebody on the show and then <laughs> you tell them it's a TV show. <laughs> I can't take you seriously right now. When you prank somebody on the show and you tell them it's a TV oh, show. Hold on a second. I'm going to show you what you look like right now. This is what I'm looking. I'm trying to take you seriously. <laughs> and you tell them it's a TV show. Yes. How do they react most of the time? Most people are cool. You know, we've only been attacked a few times. <laughs> We're in a supermarket working behind the counter, ringing people up when they're buying groceries. And this woman... Uh, I was paying for a grocery, she, she takes out her credit card and hands it to Sal. So I said, Sal, nonchalantly, t take out your cell phone, and before you swipe her credit card, take a picture of it. <laughs> and this woman, when he took the picture of her credit card, she freaked out, she went nuts. She called 911, the cops come, and they try to calm the lady down, you know, but she went ballistic. It go cool figure, she didn't want her identity stolen. <laughs> so I think most people are good natured. You know, we don't get attacked too, too often. So Murr, the question everyone's dying to know mm -hmm. is, are we best friends? The answer is yes. People, let me tell you about my best friend. He's a warm-hearted.
somebody person who love me till the end now People let me tell you about my best friend He's a one boy, cuddly toy, my up, my down, my pride and joy People let me tell you about him, it's so much fun Whether we're walking man to man or whether we're walking sun to sun Cause he's my best friend Yeah, he's my best friend, la la Thank you guys for watching. Thank you to Mer for being in the My video. pleasure. And make sure you subscribe by clicking down there. <laughs> and watching Practical Jokers every Thursday on True TV. Damn right. And thank you to Eric for filming. And I'll see you guys next time.